Um, Ew, Cash Freak, ahead of your, your British title fight next month against Kyle Williams. How are you feeling sort of ahead of it? I'm good, I'm fit at the moment and I've just got the last few hard weeks to go and I'm ready to fight, to be honest. Um, this is obviously your second defence and third British title mm -hmm. fight. How have you found sort of the, the fight so far and how do you think you'll use that experience for this, this fight coming up? Uh, well, I think this is my fourth or fifth title fight. And uh, you know, and uh, what do you call that? I've just, I've just had good sparring. You know, I'm gonna use my experience as well, definitely in the longer rounds. And you know, I'm looking forward to the fight night. Um, I think you're both. It's the first time you're facing someone who's undefeated. Yeah. What sort of things does that sort of bring up that maybe you've not faced before? I think obviously he's he's never had tasted defeat before. That's the first thing, and he's gonna be confident coming in here. But obviously, once you're in the ring, it's gonna be a different story. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, I mean, but at this stage, everybody's gonna be feeling confident. I mean, he's gonna be right up for it. It's a British, it's a British title. You know, you're not gonna be. If that doesn't annoy you, then you shouldn't be in the wrong sport. So, you know, and uh, but at this stage, I'm very, very hungry. I'm trained really, really hard. I've not really took the time off since I won the title. I was back in September, and yeah. I've just been in the gym since. I was gonna say, I think you sort of said after the Ian Butcher yeah. fight, you had a few sort of niggles with the, the hand and things. Yeah. Um, did you manage to sort of a bit of? No, I've just see that wasn't it wasn't it a big problem to be honest. I think I'd be problem with my knuckle, but that was that was one I was, that was just uh, I think it only took me a week and that was it, you know, and uh, it just got better. But since then I've just been punching. You know, I mean, with small gloves, big gloves, everything. My hands have been fine with that, and uh, you know, I've, I'm ready. I'm, I'm fair as anything. It's probably the best training camp I've, I've yeah. had. What's made it so good? It's just the opponent, and uh, you know, and just I think the whole opportunity. You know, I mean, so I'm in BBC, and that that that's really. Get me really excited for it, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm looking to put a show, uh, showcase uh, my skills in front of everybody. And the last one's on Box Nation, but Box Nation is only for boxing fans only. And uh, BBC Scotland is more of the wide audience, especially in Scotland. That's where I'm from, and uh, you know they get to see me. You know, it's a bit like the Scott Allen the first fight with him when it was on uh, STV. Basically, uh, that that was and uh, both I know both my kickboxers and uh, <laughs> they're you know I mean they're talking that. Calvin's he's been respectful but he's kinda you know I mean he's been talking a wee bit as well but end of the day, you know I mean up goes of the windows on the night, that's gonna happen in the in the ring. You know, what what have you done in the past, you know, and it's on the night and you do. Yeah. Um obviously as you just mentioned there, you face another ex kicks box and yeah. um Scott Allen's no. obviously someone that you've no. faced twice and you've done a lot of the no. the prep for this camp has been with him. No. Um do you think that'll sort of help you for I well yeah I've had good sparring with Scott Allen and uh, I've got a few more good rounds to coming up with other uh, sparring partners as well you know I've had some great sparring I've been sparring Stephen Tiffany as well which I, you know, I mean he's a top yeah. top professional and I've uh, had some other great sparring opponents as well so you know I mean I can I can form my sparring this camp definitely yeah. and he's obviously going for the European title in a couple of weeks with yeah and uh, he's been looking really sharp so it's been I've had some great great sparring for this camp so I can't yeah. ask for anything better yeah um. I think you've gone down south as well with Ryan Burnett when he was... Uh, this was last year and yeah, obviously year. this was, I know it was last year, but I picked a lot from that. Spine, that that spot really opened my mind up, you know what I mean, my future fights. And honestly, I learned so much from just that spot. I've done two eight runs with him and honestly, I picked so much up and, uh, you know, moving forward. I mean, I, need, I, need, I knew I need to, what I needed to work on. Yeah. Yeah, I, what, what little things sort of did you pick up from that? No, just small things like, you know what I mean, how he patience he is and... You know what I mean? What he does, you know, what he was inspiring. It's just small things, you know, as a fighter. You you go back and you pick up and you're like, hey, listen, I need to go practice then. That's what I've done since since like I've been sparring. Stuff like tempo and... Aye, tempo, just patience and that. So just small wee, uh, things like patience, taking your time and all that. So I've just been picking up and it was great. Great atmosphere being down there. Yeah. Um, obviously, this time last year, I think you were sort of in the build-up for Josh Whale. Yeah, and you weren't in the position where you were right. knowing what you were going to do with the fights no. and stuff. Is it nice being in the position where you were in control and St Andrews can do these shows here and things and you have sort of less worries about the politics side of it? No, definitely. And uh, I'm the champion, you know what I mean? And uh, obviously my, uh, my manager's got control of, you know what I mean, having the fights up here. And uh, it's good, you know what I mean? It's, I'm wearing the base the driving seat at the moment, so... It's great, great being in the position, but it comes with all responsibility and a lot of hard work. So that's just 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 been trained really, really hard since I won the title. How you sort of? I think it's been a, probably about a year that you've been full time now. Yeah. Um, how have you found sort of it going forward? Yeah, it's been great. You know, I can't I can't thank uh, Porter Scotty enough. You know, 
they've been, they've been back since last year and they've came born I think about March March or February time and without them you know I mean there's not a lot of things wouldn't be happening I don't know how been the opportunity when when I brought a because just I think working and training is just hard work and I've just been focused on my training it takes the stress away from you know I mean juggling two things um where do you think you have the edge over Kyle next month I think uh, obviously I've got I've done the longer rounds. I think uh, it's just on the fight. You we'll see everything that go what's gonna happen in the fight. To be honest, you know I'm not a person. I I'm gonna start. I think about it too. You know, I me mean, too far ahead. It's on the night. I really start focusing on the fight, or maybe a couple of days before the fight. I start focusing on it. Cause stupid energy gonna burn. You know, and start thinking about it. For me, I'll only only worry about myself through training camp. Get myself fit and ready, and that's it. You know, I when the fight come when it's fight week or maybe three four days before the fight. That's when I start focusing on him. Yeah. And I think about what I'm gonna do. Definitely. Um, I remember you saying sort of sometimes in training camps, you know, it's hard to sort of motivate yourself yeah. when you're not in. The last, I remember you having sort of takeover fights last no. year, which you're just waiting no. for an opponent to be confirmed. No. I guess it's a lot easier to get out of bed when you've got these sort of no. fights and on the BBC and stuff. No, definitely. See, my last three fights, I've been. No, I mean, I've been up every morning early, doing my runs, doing my weight sessions. It's just been easy, you know what I mean? Because I've had opponents and I've had dates that. You know what I mean? But seeing that since I've won the title, just I've really, uh, my, my, you know what I mean, my confidence and my, you know what I mean, my hunger for the sport has just been sky high and I've just been in the gym since I've won the title. Well, since I've been made mandatory for British, I've just been in the gym since last year and I've really took time off and that, that's how I'm hoping to move forward. Yeah. Do you find you get more sort of attention from media or people in Scotland since you've won these fights? Yeah, I think obviously when I'm, obviously I'm the British champion, I mean, never you tell someone, oh, they go, oh, are you? And... People think, they, they, you know what I mean, they ask, think twice, you know what I mean, they ask you, so uh, it's, it's good, you know what I mean, having the attention and, you know, but just me, 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 uh, you know what I mean, I can't shy away from it. Uh, <laughs> um, do you keep the belt in your, around the back? No, well, I'll give it back at the moment, oh, so, yeah, so I think, but I've, well, I've not seen it since December, so I need to hopefully defend it and get it back to see it, you know. Is it nice, have you had your name sort of engraved on it yet? I've not seen it yet, uh, so when, uh, obviously when I defend it, I'll, I'll see it engraved. Uh, Is it? Is that a big club motivation as well? Sort of, I think third defense it is now that you. No, it's my second, sec second one, and I mean, uh, obviously after I, three defenses. You I be definitely. I think uh, that's all, that's what's more me as well to win the British all right. You know, and this is another step forward for me. Yeah. Um, do you think sort of further ahead, or is it sort of a bit? No, I just fight our time, and uh, my main my main concern is right now, Kai Williams, and I'm hundred percent focused on him, and I'm looking forward to going out there and doing a job. I hundred percent. Obviously, one opponent. I think um, this is probably every year I've done with you. Um, but Lee McGregor sort of one that's right. talked about. Do you do you find it a bit annoying having that sort of in the background being talked about? Uh, it does. Uh, at the moment, obviously, I know it's no. I know it's obviously you just need to ask that question all the time. But it's at the moment, I will Kyle Williams, and I need to focus on him. And I can't really, I can't really see anything until the fight's you know, I mean done, it's, uh, sealed. You know what I mean yeah. against Lee McGregor. But at the moment, I can't really think about that fight because. I know there's only talk people say, you know, when's that going to happen, but it's not, it's not really, I mean, it's not being really signed and sealed, so I can't really think about the fight at the moment. I'm just going, my main one concern is Kyle Williams, and that's what I'm focusing on. Right. Good stuff. Um, well, listen, thanks for your time. Um, no worries. Obviously, sponsors have been a big... Yeah, I know, thanks very much. I want to thank <laughs> Sweet Science for, you know, I mean, all the trackies they're helping me out with, you know, I mean, because I've won the fight. Now, I want to thank Big Legs, it's Ice Cream Parlor, I want to thank Castle Removers, I want to thank Porto Scuti, and I want to thank Whitaker Wokestar, and Pro Life in Paisley for doing my fitness. Thanks very much. Good oh. stuff. If anyone's looking to sponsor you, what's the best way to get in touch? I think it's, uh, it's Instagram is probably the best one. It's give me uh, it's Cash Farouk uh, one. The key. Good stuff. Right. <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, well, listen. Best of luck in your fight next Thanks month. Thanks so much, Thank you. Thanks so much.